Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sterling, and some of you might have noticed that I recently posted a video on this channel about my ride on El Camino del Diablo, the Road of the Devil. There were a few mistakes that I made on my ride on the Road of the Devil, and in this video I want to tell you what some of those mistakes were so that you don't make the same mistakes. I want to encourage everybody to explore the backcountry and be responsible so that these places remain open to us as travelers, as motorcyclists. And so what are the mistakes that I made on El Camino del Diablo? In the video, you'll see that when I entered the Organ Pipes Cactus National Monument, there's this entry kiosk there that explains some of the rules and regulations, and there's a fee station. Because it's a national monument, they charge $25 to go down into the monument. But as I pointed out in the video, I was just cutting across the top corner of the monument. I wasn't really going down into the monument, and so I didn't pay that entry fee. And I called up the visitor center and talked to one of the park rangers there and explained what I did. And she said that that wasn't an issue. If I was just cutting across the top of the monument on that road, I didn't need to pay the entry fee. So in that case, I didn't actually make a mistake, but I just wanted to point that out so that you guys are aware of that. So the mistakes that I made all occurred in an area of this ride known as the Cabeza Prieta National Wildlife Refuge. And as I mentioned in the video, you do need to get a permit before you do this ride. Um, and I had that permit, but there were some things that I did wrong specifically in the Cabeza Prieta area. And that's what I wanna point out now. And so the first thing that I didn't realize is that when you ride through the Cabeza Prieta, you actually have to have an orange safety flag on your vehicle. Most people that travel through here in off-road vehicles do it in like dune buggies and ATVs and that kind of thing. But I've never traveled anywhere in an area that requires a street legal motorcycle that also in addition has to have some kind of a safety flag on it. The second mistake that I made, and this one is a bigger one in my opinion, and it relates to flying my drone. I did not realize that I wasn't supposed to fly a drone in the Cabeza Prieta National Wildlife Refuge. And it gets confusing because you can fly a drone in a national forest, but not a national park. And I just didn't realize that you are not supposed to fly a drone in a national wildlife refuge. And finally, the last mistake that I made on this ride uh, relates to fire safety, fire pits, where you can build fires, collecting wood, that kind of thing. Now, recently, I traveled through a different national wildlife refuge that's also in southern Arizona. And before I traveled into that area, I read through the regulations and it said that it was okay to build fires in there and it was okay to collect dead and downed wood to use in those fires. And I guess I just assumed that because I was in another national wildlife refuge only about 100 miles away, that it had the same rules and regulations. And as it turns out, that's not true. If you're gonna be camping just off the side of the road like I was doing, you're not supposed to build a fire in that area. And you're not supposed to collect dead and downed wood to build a fire unless you're a backpacker. Now, the next night when I was in the Barry Goldwater range, the rules and regulations are different and you're allowed to use dead and downed wood to build your fire there. So I don't make the rules, but I wanna set a good, good example. I wanna follow the rules and I just want you guys to be aware that I know what the rules are and that I'm communicating them to you so that if you travel through this area, um, you're, you're doing it the way that, that is supposed to be done. So the video that I made before is back online. You can watch it. Part two is also gonna be coming up really soon as well. And in both of those videos, I'll include a link to this video so that anyone who watches them in the future can understand these rules and regulations and, and be able to follow them. So anyways, I hope you guys understand this. Um, feel free to check out my Camino del Diablo, Road of the Devil video series. It's two videos long. They'll be linked down below in the description. Appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.